So I remember I grew up I grew up in New York City and there was a milk dairy right at the end of my street. And at that time they still had horses, believe it or not, and carts and they used to deliver the milk and get the cans of milk and I could hear them in the morning, clippity clop, clippity clop. And I mean I'm not that old, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> They didn't come to your door with a bottle and put it by your door, which is another thing they did later. You know, you, you bring that up of the, the milkman coming to the door in the morning and he had that fresh milk in the bottle. And, you know, it was a life of a very simple time. And then you think about some of the important things of your childhood. And, and I think as we get older, those memories become more valuable. I know they do with me. And I can remember I fortunately lived on a street that where there was a bunch of kids my age and we always had something to do, run up and down the street and find something to do. And when you have to create your own playtime, I think that makes you a much more creative person versus Absolutely. today's kids are stuck in the, on screens, computers and phones. But my favorite memory is when the Helms Bakery truck would show up. And that's probably nine, 10. He would show up and everybody stormed this guy's truck and he'd open this big giant drawer in the back and had all these donuts, donuts. That's where I got my donut addiction. Uh -huh. It's that old. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so we'd get donuts or candy. But the big thing for us was the baseball cards. That's when baseball card collection really started. And you'd collect all those new baseball cards. And you'd trade right there with your buddies like Tommy and Terry. And, and then we'd have these stacks of gum, which nobody wanted because it was like chewing on plywood. So that was probably my <laughs> fondest memory there with all the great kids I grew up with, who most of them I still stay in touch with.